is Grace from Pink Pig. I'm just hopping on today to talk about a zero feature called tracking categories. So I know some people are using it, but I think there's a lot of other people that could be using tracking categories. Um, so they're full potential and yeah, hopefully get a bit more out of the reporting side on zero. Um, so essentially what tracking categories is, is when you raise an invoice or a bill in zero or any other transaction really, um, I mean, you're used to filling out the description the amounts and the little drop down for the account codes. Tracking categories essentially adds another column um, and you can call the column whatever you want and it gives you some more drop down lists. Um, so in the drop down it can be whatever you want. So if you wanted to start tracking by location, um, you could put different locations in, so like east, west, whatever your locations are. Say it's a shop with different, um, different bases, you could then start tracking your sales per shop. And your costs per shop which in zero you could then get a profit and loss report per shop rather than the whole company as a whole so it's basically zero's answer to cost centers and departments if you used it other uh, accounting softwares before um other ways that i've seen clients use it is tracking per employee so maybe it's a sales sales employees and you want to track the sales that each um, employee is generating and you can also look at that against their wages costs so through payroll we could add the wages costs in there um so yeah it really gives you a some more useful reports from zero i think i'm going to do a quick demo on it because it's easier to show you it when you look at it okay so tracking categories to set them up you want to be on this page so if you go up to the top here uh click on your company name and it's settings and then there'll be advanced settings and then there'll be something called tracking categories click on that and that'll bring you to this page um, so this is the demo company and you can see it's got one set up for region. So they want to track their sales and costs by east side, north, south and west coast, which is a great idea. They've got different locations. Um, if you wanted to add one, just click on add a tracking category. So I'm going to add one for staff member because I want to track the staff members' costs um, and the sales that they're generating. So Grace, show. I'm not going to step them out. Um, two should be enough so yeah once you're done save that and you can you don't have to add it from this screen you can add it as you're going so that's fine so what this means now when you add a sales invoice or a bill or any other transaction in zero really um, we can fill it out like a normal invoice so what contacts have they got set up yeah choose one of these um, yeah let's fill out an invoice as normal and it's going to sales so we're used to seeing these columns we're used to filling out these ones the new ones are region and staff member so now we can say what region this uh, sale is for so let's say it's a east side sale and I'm the one that's generated the sale so it's me um, and then approve oh dear there we go. So now I've raised a sales invoice and you can see we've got the tracking categories allocated to that. Um, the other side of this is the reporting side. So if you did this for every invoice and every cost that you had, it could generate some really useful reports in the reporting side of zero. And we can look at profit, um, profit and loss reports for each of these categories. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so this is a profit and loss report for the company um, for the whole year, and you can see they've made £12,000 in profit. Fantastic. So what we can do at the top here is filter it by our tracking categories. So we've got the region and the staff member, so I'll just do it for the Grace one I've just done. So if we wanted to see the profit that Grace is generating, you'd filter it in here and apply one filter. Update. And I think we're only going to see that one invoice, so I've not done much work, have I? Um, so yeah, sales, 416, so that's a £500 less than that. Um, so, but if we had done bills as well, you could see all the costs associated to that tracking category and then that'd get you a profit figure. Uh, let's try one of the other ones so I can show you that. If we do it for East Side, so let's say you've got different shop locations and you want to see... Um, the profit being generated as a whole, but also the profit being generated per each shop. Um, 
yeah, so you can see they've got advertising market, marketing costs and stationary costs. So yeah, I think it's a really useful um, reporting addition. And yeah, if you want to set it up, please get in touch and we can you know help you through it if this isn't clear. And yeah, any questions, just let us know. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.